Javier from Express Prints with yet another tutorial on how to manage our Midjourney website. Today is 10th of January and we are still working with Alpha, Alpha version. So we, the URL is alpha.midjourney.com and I still believe that you have to have over 10,000 images to actually be using this version. And things are actually happening so quickly, it's really, really hard to keep up. So today we are looking at two very simple ways of how to download our images in bulk. Uh, the second way that I'm going to show you today, I've only noticed it yesterday, I've noticed it by, by accident. So you may or you may not know about this, but let's get started. Before we delve into our two ways, I just quickly want to mention one trick that you can try on Midjourney website. And this was a request from one of my members. Guys, by the way, if you want to have um, advanced access to all my tutorials, please consider joining me with the membership options either on Patreon or YouTube, and I'll pop the links underneath this video. So this lady wanted to know how to add sort of like reference images, how we do in Discord um, into our website. So again, guys, I am on alpha.midjourney.com. And it's very, very simple. When you go here, it's basically just press this button, this, this plus sign here, and you know, just literally choose a file or drop it here. Yeah, so this is how you do it. So if I do it like this, then it's uploading. And now I have this reference and I'm going to continue with the prompt as normal. And as we know, you know, we've got all these fantastic features here, so we can play around with it. Um, you know, to to a hard extent. Okay, guys, so that's it for this part. And I'm going to now show you ways of how to bulk download our images. So guys, the first way I'm sure you know, so we need to go here because if you go to our brushy thing here, this is sort of more um, telling us what we did. This is sort of like, I like to call this like a work project and, you know, we can rerun the images and things like that. It's, it's harder to uh, download them from here, but when we go to our archive, uh, obviously, the first way we probably all know is this way, but it's going to really download all the images that we created that day. And sometimes we don't want that. So another way to do it is basically just really just drag it like this. Uh, so it's selected two. Yeah. And uh, now I can just download three images. Yeah. So you see how easy it was, guys. Again, I'll show you again. So let's say I want to download these ones. So I just sort of like hover like this and I am going to, oh, okay. So it's highlighted this one as well. Um, so I'm just, I just want to get these ones. Yeah. And basically I'm now just downloading. And guys, that's as simple as it is. So guys, if you want more tips and tutorials on me journey and basically keep up with all the changes that can be quite overwhelming, but I like to keep up to date. I sort of like to create my tutorials. The moment I see something new on a website, please like it, like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.